Fred's next move in the factory chimney business was to clap a little one on top of his mother's home, which, ever since, he has had to sweep because nobody else will. Well, oh, how do you do? Is all right? Where have you been? Oh, well, we've, you know, not so well. Um, doing our best. We'll all be done very smartly and speedily as possible. How long has it been smoking? Oh, a month or two. A month or two? Well, why didn't you tell me? You normally do, don't you? Huh? You normally uh, cause a lot of bother and tell me. not time to do anything for me. Oh, I know that. <laughs> well, let's take it up, Donald. He's not a bricklayer, but he built that. Oh, it was awful. I, I didn't want him to do that. The evening news came round and took the photograph when I was at work. <laughs> I built this chimney <laughs> when, when I were about 17 years old. We had a stack like the one next door, you know, with five pots on which uh, four of them were disused and smoke only went up one, so I thought, well, we'll take all these four down and uh, build a nice chimney stack, you see. So I didn't really design it, I just built it. It just ended up that shape. Everybody said I was crazy, you know. <laughs> but um, it never cracked and uh, it's got a lovely draft on it, you know. Uh, suck your house slippers off when it's going at bottom. <laughs> so you went to art school. When he was about 17, you'd think he'd work in office, not doing what he does now. <laughs> 